Good evening, sir. Shall we start the meeting? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good evening, one and all. We, the Department of Business Administration, is happy to conduct the faculty development program. Today is the fourth day of our faculty development program. Now I invite Dr. M. Sabes Panigandan, sir, Assistant Professor, Department of Economics, Ayanada Janakamal College, to propose welcome address. Thank you. Please, sir. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Good evening to all. At the outset, I take it, take it as my great privilege to welcome you in the August occasions. Your respected chief guest, uh, faculties from various parts of our nation, my colleagues, my fellow friends. So I take this opportunity as my great privilege. At the outset, I would like to invite today's chief guest, uh, Dr. Royal Gupta, counseling psychologist, founder, Healing Space Counseling Center from Noida going to address on the transactional analysis in relationship, which will, I hope, enrich our uh, skills. And I would like to welcome the staff members and the faculties from various disciplines and different parts of our countries. So uh, they are actively participating in this uh, event uh, vibrantly from the last uh, Friday onwards. The welcome the organizing committee of this faculty development program for their efforts and supports. They are arranged in a nice manner. And uh, uh, the technical staff, those who are behind this screen, are the successful of this conduct. Uh, if I would like, if I am uh, listing the persons, then it will go very lengthy. So I would like to uh, start out this uh, welcome address. With this short uh, uh, welcome address, I, I hand over the session to the president of this uh, today's program. So I thank the management, principal, coordinators, and uh, the organizing committee and organizing members of this program for giving me this great opportunity to welcome you all in this nice program. So thank you, thank you all. Thank you, sir. Now I welcome Dr. R. Sundar Raj, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Ayanada Janakamal College, Sirakasi, to preside over the function and give presidential address. Please, sir. Uh, thank you, madam. Uh, thanks for this uh, good opportunity here. Uh, I consider it as my uh, privilege and uh, this moment is very proud to me because uh, the resource person today going to speak here is one of my uh, good friends and a very old friend of mine. So almost we are friends for, for the past. So so back in, uh, thanks to the technology first because uh, uh, she this, uh, when we talk about this counseling, this, uh, when we talk about this counseling and uh, psychology, uh, I always uh, think that um, our lives can be better if we uh, if we are improvising ourselves if and, and and these kind of sessions are meant for that so rather calling it as a faculty development program this is an individual development program because when we talk about relationships it, it is not only our workplace where we have relationships we have relationships at home we have relationships at society everywhere so it starts from starts with from our home. So we have a question in our mind that are we living to the fullest potential of us? So, and we have our own style of living. So whether it is, are we satisfied with, 
are we able to uh, maintain and uh, show a responsibility towards that relationship be becomes a question mark and even in this uh, uh, modern society this is really a question mark for even for the youngsters uh, because people fail to maintain their relationships so i think we can have a better relationships if we understand uh, how to uh, interact how to because we need to bring a positive change in our lives we need a personal growth in our life and all these things are possible only when we have a good relationship with them. the people who are very much associated with us in, in workplace at home right uh, it improvise their living so uh, i i understand that uh, a better conversation with people a better communication with people can improvise our living and this transactional analysis is very much important it's a more sparing your valuable time busy she is but she accepted so uh, i think uh, to uh, help us a lot uh, we are going to improvise we invite dr k dhanlakshmi assistant professor department of business choose our chief guest please ma'am thank you ma'am uh, good evening welcome you all for the fourth day of one week uh, faculty development program organized to by i welcome you ma'am today madam is going to share her views on transactional analysis in relationship uh, before to start this session i want to share some words about uh, our resource person madam is a counseling psychologist she is a founder of healing session thank you ma'am for your nice introduction next i call upon ms payal gupta counseling psychologist to give the address on transaction analysis in relationship please ma'am on the basis of queries i hope uh, you will get the solution of many of your problems so let me start with first of all i want to give my gratitude so uh, as my dear friend took some part of the transactional analysis that i have related with relationship right because transactional analysis itself is a big topic so i have taken few part that will take uh, in concept of relationship and second thing i just want to give a disclaimer here that this session is for uh, you can say just like a medical first aid this is a first aid from my side in terms of relationship so in the initial stage if you feel that there is something wrong then certainly these steps will help you and uh, if the problem is big you feel that the problem is big certainly then professional help is required right so what is transactional analysis how it helps so transactional analysis is helpful for you to understand what you as you and what me as me means i am able to understand my strength and weakness in a better way so proceeding for this i just want to share my presentation over here uh, i am allowed to share my ppt transactional analysis is uh, in short we'll call it as a ta ta is a sunny time it happens that we as an individual have uh, we used to carry some baggages from our past and on the basis of those baggages we behave in our present and we live a uh, maximum of our time uh, either uh, having guilt or uh, let's say discussing about the past or fear that comes with due to failure of the past right so ta assumes that we have to overcome out of it we are not supposed to behave what past is means here and now means we'll talk about what present right so 
every individual have the potential for personal growth chance to see the news that two more attempts has been increased so he was very happy and uh, he came back and he started his uh, in studies again and thankfully this time he cleared the exam so why i quote this example over here is that personal growth means when i uh, when i am talking about personal growth then it is not fixed in this scenario in this example where i took uh, by chance he cleared the exam but it's not like suppose in case he was not able to clear the exam then also life didn't stop right change is required for every development change is required so ta assumes that individual every individual have the potential for personal growth and change throughout their lives means it's not fixed for the uh, for a particular duration of life means many people they are doing various things in different stages let's talk about melin soman who won the title of iron man at the age of 50 and clearing iron man title clearing the all those has so uh, what i want to say here is that we need change we need to test our potential every time on every step of life then suddenly we have to think uh, in a more open and wider manner right because if i'm talking about parenting so parenting is not like 2 plus 2 4 if one of my friend is doing uh, the things in a particular manner form where we want to learn something ah uh, now it's changed so objective of transactional analysis so transactional analysis first uh, the big strength is it makes us autonomous means we as an individual comes to know about my strength weakness uh, my inner power and uh, certainly if a person is able to understand Uh, or let's say enhance self awareness a uh, wife right or uh, husband uh, we can't be a gender bias so husband is i'm not aware about the financials so considering the same uh, vice versa if my kids are also able to express then certainly things are open we are not uh, having any kind of intimacy parenting problems work intimacy parenting problems workplace issues these are in means that parent those uh, means person having kids raining right uh, in the news you came to know in noida it's raining hard so while i feel that uh, uh, i feel good the state is it depends on the situation to situation right nothing is wrong nothing is right here when i am talking about parent ego state the person in parent they used to uh, portray as the parental figure right in child wrong in this and uh, certainly we all want to have a to integrate our behavior as a adult uh, adult ego state so that we can do justice with uh, the age actually so how these all uh, states become uh, how we develop these states actually uh, the there are means this term is injunctions and counter injunctions 
so uh, you must be feeling or when you were as a child you have seen that parents used to say don't make mistakes don't speak fast don't take the subject don't play along with this friend and so on so by doing this indirectly parents uh, give some command to the child and the child feels that uh, doing this means we are not supposed to do this kind of behavior we are not supposed to take these subjects right we are not supposed to uh, means these are certain don'ts that we don't uh, we need not to do and certainly if i'll do all this behavior then i'm not a good child because my mom said that what ever i'm saying means i'm saying don't do this don't play with this boy this boy is scoring really less marks so don't play with this boy he is using very bad language so don't play with this boy so if i am playing with, with this boy i like to play with this boy then certainly i am hiding something from my parents and there is some kind of guilt in me and this will create or this will uh, take me as uh, some kind of uh, doubt you can say or uh, Uh, as I'm talking about injunctions, where par parents used to give some don'ts, same way parents give uh, some do's also. Like uh, we have to be perfect, we have to be uh, means like we have to do everything in a good manner. Uh, if I will do this, my mother will be happy. If I uh, will uh, do this work in this manner, then certainly my parents will be happy. So doing this, this, this. Uh, choosing uh, some do's, choosing some don'ts means the child personality becomes a little bit confused, right? And uh, the child certainly is a little bit unsatisfied because his decision capacity com comes down. When I'm, uh, when I'm saying this, uh, you can relate this with an example that uh, suppose you want to, your child is in 11 and he want to choose some subjects, right? From the memes, you know memes, uh, all those coming these days on social media. So in memes, they have shown that uh, if a child is uh, doing science, then uh, a child will portray a face like he is very dull, means very tired, something like that. And if a child is having commerce, then he is enjoying. And if a child is having humanities, then certainly he is the most uh, he's the person who is not having to do anything in the class and he's the king of the class, right? So on the basis of those things, a uh, child used to opt that uh, certainly I need to take what subject? Certainly I need to take humanities. Because big goal for your child means suppose uh, you are saying that, uh, see, if you are uh, you will take science and you will uh, crack the IIT, then your life will be wow, right? So Every child is aware that uh, for clearing the IIT, I need to do lots and lots of effort. So instead of making a result-oriented thing, you have to create a process for your child and enjoy the process with your child. Enjoy the process. Instead of focusing on the result, then certainly the journey will be easy. Right? This is the most important pillar of transactional analysis where we talk about the state of mind where uh, these are four positions and when a child grow when a child born actually so uh, child is in the state of i am okay you are okay child feel that uh, i am happy i am uh, good and uh, uh, people around me they are also good means there is no question about lower self-esteem, love the parents, everything is very fine. So it appears to be an idle life position. People with this type of life position have confidence in themselves as well as trust and confidence in others too. So when I'm saying at the time of birth, child is uh, having this life position, I am okay, you are okay. It's not like that. At this age, we can't have this position. Right. So first we need to understand what these life positions are. Then we will relate these life positions with the condition to a child, uh, a growing child, and how this we can relate with the relationship issues. 
right so i am okay you are okay is uh, clear next one is i am okay you are not okay in this scenario let's think about a child who is uh, uh, pampered by the parents pampered by the uh, grandparents parents used to do every uh, work very small small micromanagement of everything of the child uh, let's talk about helicopter parenting let's say so the child will be in the position that whatever i am doing is okay and whatever you are doing is not okay it means that if you want to suggest something you as a teacher want to say something to your child to the child then certainly the child will not able to understand and if this scenario will go for the age of 13 14 18 20 25 later on then also it becomes very difficult for the person to understand because throughout the life he will be in the position i am okay you are not okay in the office also if uh, your colleague is like this or let's say so he must be having the feeling that i am okay you are not okay whatever i am doing is correct you are whatever you are doing is not correct so take a pause think about this why i am thinking in this manner i am is it true that always i am correct see in the initial stage we talk about responsibility uh, taking the responsibility on self so it shows that i am in the position who want to do some correction it's all about that no one is perfect i am here to do the correction on my behavior so i need to understand if i am having this mindset i am okay you are not okay then was there is a time to check your behavior right if your child is means doing this uh, portraying this age is a red flag for example if the child is saying uh, let's say uh, mom my test uh, let's say he is having one test right uh, the child is saying that uh, I have done all the preparation from NCRT book and the paper was uh, very hard. It was uh, all the questions were from R.D. Sharma. So I was not able to do that. So uh, I am okay. What does it show? I am okay. I have done this preparation. I am okay. You are not okay. You means the teacher is not okay because the teacher framed the question paper from R.D. Sharma and given more time into the particular subject so these are all the situations that need to be taken care next one is i am not okay you are okay in this scenario or discomfort while taking the subject. Is the child clear with the subject? Is the client child is able to understand uh, what are the plus and minus of taking the subject? So the, you need to understand if he is not showing any kind of uh, reaction in that case, this is the scenario, I am not okay, you are okay means this is a common position of those people who feel powerless means the child is showing low self-esteem and now you it's a time to learn uh, how to increase the uh, self-esteem of a child next one is 
I am not okay, you are not okay. And people in this position tend to feel bad about themselves, see the whole world as miserable. They do not trust others and have no confidence in themselves. So just to explain this, I want to share one story here. A story about uh, a family. Family is having a husband, wife, and two boys, right? Two kids. So uh, initially everything was fine. Husband used to work in the office and uh, uh, bring whatever salary is having. He used to share that with wife and wife spend uh, in the bills, giving fees, whatsoever. But uh, after some time, husband start taking drink and uh, gradually, gradually he become addicted. So now he stopped giving the salary at home. Now the situation arises that they were not having money for the fees and other things. So wife, instead of complaining, uh, complaining in the means she tried to uh, make the husband understand. But when he find there is no solution now, so she, she uh, did some small jobs, some big jobs and uh, to help the family. The elder child, he used to blame the things. He uh, used to blame the scenario, the environment, and uh, uh, day by day, he stopped doing his studies. And uh, he also started taking alcohol. And But on the contrary, the younger one, he used to help the mother and uh, trying to help the way he can do, either by uh, household work or anything. And then he focused on education. He feel that education is the only thing by which I can change the position, situation of my family. He give the exams and the competitive exams and hold a very good position. And so the main focus of mine is the uh, mind state life position of the elder son was, I am not okay and you are not okay. Because he was feeling that nothing is right. Means everything is wrong and I can't help out of it. But on the reverse, the younger one feel that, yes, I have the strength. We will do the things better. We will, uh, means by doing education, by doing uh, jobs, certainly we will be in the position to overcome all this uh, situation, right? So by giving this example, I just want to explain how this works. So these are the life positions. Verbal, uh, can be positive, negative criticism. Stroke can be mixed stroke also. For example, boss is saying you have done good job, but next time uh, be on time. If I good same way child also understand uh, what the our language of eyes is how we are behaving our body language because child if i say they are very pure actually so whatever we are behaving they just catch without uh, uttering a single word means by our face by our eyes they can uh, understand that uh, when we are happy when we are not happy so we have to be very careful in front of children. Uh, 
means we can't hide our emotions actually so we have to be a little bit intelligent in terms of emotional intelligence and certainly we are having one session i saw that in very uh, last session is about emotional intelligence so certainly that will be very helpful so these are basically uh, i have quoted the strokes that is uh, you can say some uh, ways by which we can uh, give a child so that they can be uh, have a good self esteem they uh, come out as a confident person so these are for example be specific when you are appreciating your child you have to be very specific it's not like that uh, in today's session uh, ma'am said that uh, we must have uh, strokes we must have some positive strokes to our child we have to appreciate our child so it doesn't means that just uh, we and just uh, go to our house and we start saying child you are looking very smart you are uh, you did a very good job it's not like that be specific whatever thing you are appreciating it should be specific for example you need not to wait for us every time we feel that whenever child is doing uh, good in test we are appreciate at that time we because again as i mentioned earlier our success criteria are, is marks how much marks my child have scored when my child hold the position it's like i hold the position means i have done wonders right it's we understand that our success efforts of our uh, means uh, whatever thing i am doing it's totally different and success of my child is totally different his success or failure should not affect me because let's say child is not uh, in spite of lot of hard work child is not able to uh, score a target uh, target marks right so if i am also very low then who is going to motivate my child and certainly that for the a child also it will be a very big deal means he will feel that there is nothing now no other uh, means some people are saying that uh, plan b is for loser but for me is that it's not like that only one job or only one target if you are not able to achieve that there is the end of the line because if you are working hard there are limited seats if you have given the 100% other person other child has also given the 100% so it's not like that if you fail in one exam then everything finish so be specific if the child keep the newspaper properly appreciate because it if you appreciate next time he will understand that whatever thing i am organizing in a proper manner my mothers like it and when your child become uh, means a uh, organized child then certainly he will be organized in, in in his studies also and if he is organized then certainly it will reflect in his progress in studies also right next is appreciate the process as i mentioned appreciate the process not the result preparation for the entrance exam is important not focusing iit 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 they also they are very smart they are very intelligent they are aware that i am doing this entrance exam this is the target that i need to achieve but but if you have taken your course seriously so again the thing is i am appreciating him the way he is doing the things i am not appreciating the way means uh, again not the target i am uh, giving him motivation for the process for the uh, things he is doing right because see uh, these days many child uh, they are coming to us at the time of entrance at that before the entrance in fact and they are in position uh, parents used to say or they show the all the uh, test series they have done in the class but now two days before the exam the child is saying i don't want to give the exam see the stress level of the child this can be overcome only by the uh, if you will enjoy the process and this learning only if you give to the child then certainly uh, for the exam it's like a play kind of thing for certainly exam create little bit of anxiety and little bit of anxiety is necessary for the child even at this age being a psychologist whenever i give any exam i am also having the fear of doing good 
but it's okay little bit of anxiety is okay but it's not like that i am not ready to give the exam next one is praise the behavior mixed strokes not required certainly mixed strokes not required because it creates barrier in the mind of child child is not able to understand my parents are appreciating me or they are what they exactly want from me praise in public correct and private for example happy with your behavior let's talk at home if this is possible again uh, some of you will think that this is very uh, idealistic kind of thing but uh, yes it works actually no over appreciation if praising the behavior makes a child down to earth if we praise them they will gain very con or means over confidence if we uh, praise the child every time certainly they will become over confident these are few praising style giving strokes to the child it will certainly uh, enhance their uh, self esteem and they will be a confident person i hope this will help you next one is life script so we talk about injunction counter injunction we talk about life position we talk about strokes so all these things when a child uh, getting uh, some injunctions counter injunctions when the child is giving uh, getting the strokes or the child is having a life position on the basis of that the child make a life script and sometimes we as a parent make life scripts for the child for example to a girl child if i say that a prince charming will come and he will marry you right we portray that husband to be a prince charming and same way to boy if i say a prince is a beautiful princess will come and she will marry you now the child is having the image of beautiful princess throughout the life right uh, smart and dashing husband uh, prince throughout the life if let's say the behavior of the person is very nice but this gentleman is not looked like a prince so certainly on by the pressure of the family or the surrounding maybe she got married but but she will having the uh, image the script in the mind that a prince charming then the time when uh, any suppose a uh, smart person or anything in the surrounding appears let's say in the job or anywhere if she finds such kind of person then there will be chances of i don't want to say anything for that so we have to be very careful whatever stories we are narrating to our child whatever scripts we are giving to our child and the definition i have quoted here is life script form in the childhood on the basis of interaction with parents caregivers on the basis of strokes the earliest transaction in the script is called the protocol it is later changed by the myths and fairy tales when it is repressed but reappears in the preconscious known as script proper the script proper is modified as compromise with reality and becomes the adaptation as i mentioned that maybe due to uh, the pressure or by giving the uh, practical uh, advice by the parents maybe uh, the girl uh, or as uh, this means whatever um, the um, option he is having or the uh, person he is having for the uh, proposal he is having either i say uh, he marry but later or sooner he must be having the idea of having a prince charming in the mind you will explain the life and uh, family life cycle as these eight life stages so these life stages i'm taking as when husband and wife bride and groom both are okay means i am okay husband is fine uh, lady is fine bride is fine both of them are having mutual concern they went for uh, they went together move ahead for the marriage they both are in the life position of i am okay you are okay so first stage is married couple without children so here the disclaimer is uh, that uh, girl boy means bride groom they are married uh, and they are not having any kind of pressure and both of them 
love each other and they are happy with the this marriage right considering this as a situation i am moving ahead with the situation uh, next stage that is child bearing family so now the couple is happy they marry they are having beautiful time period they enjoy it uh, they are doing everything they are working everything is fine but when they plan the child their first child now the life position which was earlier i am okay you are okay mind it in the first stage the life position is i am okay you are okay but now the life position become i am okay you are not okay means lady is thinking that i am doing all the household responsibilities i am taking all the uh, duties of my child i am okay my husband is not okay now this is the time you have to take a check why this situation arises again the role of communication arises here because if you are not communicating what you are feeling right i am feeling that i am okay i am my husband is not okay because he is not fulfilling all the uh, means he is just doing his office job he is coming sitting at home he is not taking care of the child child is not the only responsibility of mine right so you have to do the check as i mentioned this is an awareness program if you are aware about these are the life stages that will be come these are the stages that will come so you have to prepare yourself for the what the next stage will be so some of you will be uh, your families uh, with preschool children so you have to understand what are the responsibilities going to come when my child will go as a preschool right Uh, who is going to pick the child who will going to drop the child who will take in care of the homework class work other things same way when the child is in school age let's suppose or when the child is in teenager every stage is having different transitional period so every stage we need to understand that what new responsibility will arise we have certainly many books we have certainly uh, many things these days online workshops and many things i must say right so you have to understand what new responsibilities we have to check right so while checking you have to see the life position my husband and me right is it the life position same i am okay you are okay let's say i am also working my husband is also working now i am uh, in my 40s and my i'm going to launch my adult child my child will go out for studies and certainly uh, young one let's say he is also going for studies uh, let's say in some college and now me and my husband is staying there and uh, or let's say my younger one is staying here only and uh, because i have a gap of my elder one and uh, i am feeling a gap Uh, means i'm missing my child and uh, i'm having work pressure of mine also my husband who is having lots of tools and all and at this moment when the younger one need lot of uh, input from we both and we in spite of that we both are having our own problems means i am feeling that i'm not doing good as a good as a mother means i'm not good i'm not good means i'm not okay and my husband who is every time on tour he is also not okay so this is the worst condition at this scenario when my child is in need of me because he is in teens so certainly what should be my uh, life position has to be my life position need to be i am okay you are okay and if it is not like that then certainly this is the time to have a check if i am not able to handle the situation certainly i need a professional help why i am feeling this way this way why i am not able to do the self care of mine what is the missing what is the gap area right same way uh, if we are having middle age parents we become as a middle age parent both of the child went out for the studies or let's say i am having a girl child and and a girl child i married my child a uh, girl child and uh, nobody is at home and i am having a feeling of emptiness uh, let's say emptiness syndrome in that case i have to be prepared that their previous stage let's say
and this is a little bit picture di diagram that uh, i have shown uh, marriage then perish family so wherever i feel the problem certainly we have to understand before going means whatever the transition period is we have to understand and we have to certainly uh, give ourselves a time to learn the coping mechanism or understand the what all responsibilities will be added and what all helping hand we are required to when the life position will change so this is the presentation i just want to share with and uh, yeah i'm open the the question and answers now so i think uh, you have done a very uh, great job on your side you have given a very good lecture a very good explanation uh, with the help of case studies and examples uh, i i don't know if if i can ask this question to you uh, can you just uh, cite out an um, uh, real time uh, incident uh, that happened in your clinic uh, any case that you can uh, you, you can spe specify over here any case that you have dealt with uh, uh, you are talking about relationship or parent relationship relationship so relationship even uh, i have one that i am dealing with even i am having that in my diary also uh, there is a couple for 7 years the couple uh, is in their late 30s had a history of infertility treatment this result in i uh, means after the treatment they are having two twin children and uh, now they are here couple came into counseling because of uh, reduced intimacy increased fighting difficulty in communicating and uh, negative perception of each other's behavior so this is the case and uh, for the sake of privacy i will not share the rest of the detail so this is the case and uh, again i want to say that uh, what my understanding is if i take this as a in terms of transactional analysis when we are talking about this only so initially they both were happy they were having the situation of i am okay you are okay right then uh, when they come uh, with the responsibility of two twins means one uh, two boys they are having so certainly the responsibility increases and uh, earlier when the husband used to go out and uh, he used to come in so he used to bring gifts for the wife but now uh he used to uh, bring gifts for the kids so wife actually she is uh, aware that uh, i it sounds childish if i say that why you are not uh, taking gifts for me and buying gifts for me she is aware that means if i say the adult situation she is doing a uh, means understanding or calculation kind of thing that now this is a situation uh, husband will bring uh, gifts for the uh, child only but but in the uh, back of mind she actually have a practice or she want gifts or uh, she feel that uh, something it happens that when we are doing our responsibilities when we are doing our work we need appreciation right and gift sometimes uh, become a medium of gift, uh, showing that uh, appreciation that uh, i'm going out i am carrying this for you so even uh gary uh, chapman have given five love languages uh in those five love languages gift is also one of the part uh though i i'm not saying that gift is uh, i means an expensive one gift can be anything that your wife requires means uh, it's not like that every time you are carrying some uh, thing in materialistic kind of no it's it can be anything that uh, she requires actually and because of responsibility she is not going out to buy that so you can arrange that for her it shows that you have a touch you have a uh, connect you have a bond means uh, so in this case basically uh, i have not started giving sessions till now but in this i feel that due to change in responsibilities uh, due to double in, uh, responsibility now the wife because she is having frustration that she is not doing her job actually so she is little bit upset for that also uh, initially they were not aware having twins actually they not planned for twins they uh, in uh, ivf and all 
uh, they got twins actually so in spite of having helping hand they are not able to manage some of their responsibilities so they are having commotion let's talk about that and uh, yeah of course uh, i will certainly tell them how to handle with this and this is what i am having right now with Uh, thank you, madam. Thank you. That was nice. And uh, so, as madam said, uh, session is open. Uh, there's also raised questions and queries. Participants, if you have any doubts, please ask. The situation arises when either the topic has not been understood, strip, <laughs> or <laughs> it was absolutely clear to all. <laughs> oh, no, so uh, that may be the second situation because. Uh, uh, good, evening, so good evening, ma'am. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. Uh, it is uh, really a very nice session, and this is a need of the hour. and with related to this uh, i have a little concern and a little query just after pandemic uh, we have seen in our teaching field that a number of students are uh, lacking confidence to mingle up with their peer group i, uh, I think this is the situation arises when they were they, uh, at their home for the two years at least for the two years so it's a long time Uh, there uh, a lot of behavioral changes we have seen like uh, uh, a student a uh, child of class 5 is not behaving like a student of class 7 after 2 years so uh, how can we address still uh, there is a impact and though we all the teaching uh, um, community are helping to the children but still there is a problem Uh, in terms of their behavior, social behavior, mingle up with the peer group, how to behave with the teachers, how to sit in the classes. So, how can we address such type of problem in the present scenario, ma'am? Very good question. Very, uh, I must say that uh, in many workshop, I used to face this question actually because this is genuinely a true situation. These days, after pandemic, when the children were having a uh, class everything at phone mobile and laptops they were not in contact with the friends in real actually instead they used to feel comfortable while typing while while texting the message instead of that in uh, in fact they are uh, they have introduced so much shortcuts even my son he used to text me in such a shortcut i have to think twice what Uh, this means i used to give some permutation combination what actually it comes out right so this is very true so first thing you need to understand that this situation will not going to change in one day right so you have to motivate uh, uh, can you give me the detail in uh, means if you are uh, asking me this question so which age group you are taking care which age group children you are taking ma'am actually i am a teacher educator mm -hmm. and uh, uh, dealing with the course of bed and ma so uh, we are usually in the contact of our alumni and they are uh, placed in different schools and dealing with, and dealing with the age group of uh, different age group actually mm -hmm. so this is the general scenario in all the age group uh, usually if we talk about the 11th and 12th class students so they uh, they are more like uh, to go for the machine learning as you just now said it and similarly if we are talking about the class 5th student or class 6th student so their behavior and uh, they are uh, sitting uh, sitting in the classrooms and uh, their behavior in the playground they are actually not mingle up with the uh, with their peer group this is the main concern which our students have uh, spoken to us very true uh see uh, first thing is we have to understand how many uh, see when you are talking about 11 12 students right so actually
then at uh, four, means 3.30, he go out for the tuition. Means 4 to 6, he is having tuition. And uh, then after that, uh, the child came back having evening snack. Then he is having a little bit of time. Then from 7 to 9, let's say uh, 9.30, he is having again uh, school homework. Then uh, whatever tuition homework he is having, he has to prepare all those tests and everything. So now I ask this question to the parent where you feel that your child will go out to play in the school when you are talking about so the house means for a child the house is the uh, first place where he get the comfort right comfort zone then the child is not getting that comfort zone at home actually and the same scenario in the school how many periods of uh, play uh, the child is getting getting actually because in a day uh, means uh, two, three schools I have noticed their uh, uh, timetable if I'm talking about. So they are having either two or three periods in the whole week. So in two or three periods, uh, certainly ch what child will do? What kind of activity they will do? There's no doubt that child actually they don't want to go out because they feel they get the comfort zone sitting in the house doing mobile having AC, uh, if you are going out, then certainly you have sweat. Certainly when you go out to play, certainly you have sweat. And in the last two years, they are at home and uh, considering that the child will feel comfort at home, we as a parent given everything to the child so the child will not feel low at any moment of time. If the child demand for any game or anything, we have given happily because we feel that he should be uh, mentally, physically fine, right? So now they are having the habit of not sharing the things. Now they are having the habit of why to run for single ball. Means six, 14, 15 boys are running for a ball. Why to run for that? Instead of that, if I sit and play PUBG in a comfortable zone, having a glass of cold drink and having chips. So you have to check with the parents whether the, what the child is having routine at home. Like I, um, means my child also behave the same way. I literally put to model parents so how much time you are giving uh, for your morning walk evening walk or how much time you are give, giving to go out for your self-care so it's all depend means uh, amalgamation of everything i hope i clear okay. yeah now this uh, actually give me a, a clear direction uh, child actually model uh, their parents so as a parent as a teacher we have to be their friends and we have to go side initially along with them and then gradually uh, we will be able to see certain changes certainly thank you so much ma'am thank you uh, i think uh, professor lakshmi uh, madam has a query she raised her hand I'm already there. Uh, I'll just go with uh, the. Yeah, yeah, yes, sorry, Shiro. Sir, my issue and my problem, sir. Okay. okay. Okay, sir. Any volunteers? Uh, I mean, there are feedback. Can you inform me, sir? What are things? Can you deliver? Yeah, sure, sure. Ah, okay, thanks. Okay, sir. Uh, I I'll just add one more thing uh, to uh, the previous question and what uh, Madam has uh, given the answer. So uh, I also saw the uh, the socialization process of children after this pandemic has dropped because. Uh, they felt uh, very much comfortable in their home and uh, the screen time increased. 
and that was, really that was a very good situation for them and uh, after this pandemic uh, when they again came back to the uh, institutions uh, they were not comfortable at all they were uh, enjoyment not tv or mobile so i think uh, they learned from us so right man they learned from us and we should stand as the role model for them uh, and we in a, we should give time to them because since this uh, this was something unexpected uh, pandemic period two years and everybody of us was like in a question mark what to do uh because the entire socialization process of children we were more worried about it nowadays they are back into that old, old uh, regime uh, like uh, okay they are adapted themselves again back to the college and uh, all these things so i think it takes a little time but uh, we have to bear with them we have to go with them so that we can set back the track very good so yeah even uh, i also thank you sir to add a uh, point in this is Uh, if suppose many time it happens that uh, children uh, they are going out but other uh, children are not coming means they are not getting company so if i feel that this is the situation in that case if my child is not going out so i feel that i used to play badminton with him or or i uh, asked him let's have let's cook something right uh, let's make uh, either some noodles i'm chopping or you do some cutting work and we'll do some uh, means some combination uh, like some bread pizza or some easy going steps yes. these life skills are also very important in fact in one of my session uh, when uh, ma'am asked that uh, uh, how to teach these kind of uh, skills to the children so instead of teaching them instead of using the word teach uh, i feel that you start doing with them Yes. you show uh, the first step then second step you uh, do with them and for the third you ask them to do alone means i remember when i was having uh, malaria and uh, my son uh, he was in fourth standard only and uh, uh, my maid was not there uh, and i was not in position to even go to the kitchen and have tea making tea so my son he write the uh, steps means uh, one cup of water this uh, one spoon of uh, tea uh, leaves sugar whatever the, all the steps he mentioned in one paper he just jump on the slab and uh, sit there and he did hold the process and uh, then he made the tea and even uh, i feel the coziness that uh, uh, he feel that and now he start observing he said no no when i make the tea the color was a uh, little light and when you made the tea it's a uh, little bit a stronger side and it tastes better so now he is able to observe the taste also so this way uh, means he add on one skill and then i appreciate that i love your the way you taken care of me so this is the appreciation this is the quality appreciation i have done i have done the Uh, appreciation of his behavior not him actually correct uh, i think uh, dr kadirwil has some question sir please you can proceed kadirwil sir and somebody else also raised their hand so you can please proceed next next i call dr kali rajan sir to propose vote of thanks hello sir sir i am audible sir yes sir you are audible sir yes sir. yes sir. yeah good evening all myself dr r kali rajan assistant professor of economics anada janaki mal college it's my great pleasure to thank everyone those who belong to this seven day faculty development program being organized by the department of business administration yes sir anada janaki mal college sivagasi at the outset i would like to thank our management and the principal of our college for giving continuous support to organize the program like this uh, it's my bounded duty to thank our today's resource person ms poil gupta psychologist and founder of healing space counseling center noida really today's session is very much useful to all the participants ma'am your points related to transaction analysis in all kind of relationship right from the uh, childhood to age to one was very insightful thank you very much ma'am 
Next, I record my heartfelt thanks to the convener of this program and head of the Department of Business Administration, Dr. M. Rajasekharan, who is a role model for all of us in convening a program like this. I extend my hearty thanks to the organization secretaries of the program, Dr. B. Mageswari and Mr. M. Nagarajan, who are delivering their best for this program. Also, I thank all the organizing members who are beginning the screen of this program. 